Hi folks. I've been doing some reading. Thanks for the feedback. Really good book. Dare to Lead. Really good book. The Believer. Okay, that's technically not about leadership, but it's relevant to the thoughts I've been having, which are about um, the place of spirituality in leadership. My Tita, my sister. This one is about stories of Aboriginal women and the strength that they bring to different situations. So it's a specific kind of leadership around resilience. And of course, the seven habits of highly effective people. The kinds of things that come up tend to be around mentorship, teamwork, innovation. So um, thanks for the feedback. Now this one is basically about the science and art of receiving feedback well when people um, voice their concerns to you about your behavior or your approaches to things or your um, things that you say. It's um, how do you take the best out of that feedback, even when it's delivered poorly and quite frankly, you're not in the mood. Really useful to hone your skills in this way and I've found that reading this book has helped me to simply notice my knee-jerk responses and to be uh, more reflective about how I can change my, my responses to be um, more effective, more useful. Dare to lead. So this one, Brene Brown, she's been doing a lot of research, a lot of grounded theory research, which of course I appreciate, and um, looking at how, how you can have teamwork function based on what she calls whole hearts. Um, it's about being vulnerable and, and um, you know, putting your hopes and your dreams out there and communicating them and demonstrating vulnerability will um, be productive uh, for building trust and relationships with team members. Now, I already mentioned the believer thing because I think that spirituality uh, is key to a lot of the things that I've been noticing in cultural safety and I think leadership that involves psychological safety, cultural safety, um, can often be inflected with spirituality and that this is a good thing. My tita, my sister, as I mentioned earlier, um, this one is filled with stories of resilience and strength of women, of Aboriginal women in Australia. and. Um, I think the stuff that I take away from this is really to sit with experience and learn from it. And then the habits of effective, highly effective people. So when we think about leadership in terms of teamwork and in terms of just getting stuff done, this is a good one for noticing the habits that um, that will serve you, like how to work in the context of high stress situations but not feel highly stressed, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's all for now. Cheers.